Have you ever been in this situation before? Can't find anything to eat? Poor Maria. She's in there right now. She could look as much as she wants because what she wants isn't in the refrigerator. What are you doing? I'm looking for something to eat. Oh, there's a lot of food in there. There's nothing. All right, fine. There's it's nothing. empty. I'm sure it is. Okay, fine. But let me ask you a question. If you were Costco right now, mm -hmm. would you find something to eat? Of course. I have a little game I want to play with you. I want to make a little deal with you. Okay. We'll get in the car right now. We'll go to Costco. You pick out three ingredients. Whatever three ingredients you want. We'll come back here. I'll make you lunch. If I don't make you the best lunch you've ever had, if you're not really totally 100% thrilled with it, I will take you out to dinner tonight. You choose the restaurant, any restaurant you want. I don't care how expensive it is. Mm -hmm. And it's on me. So wait, pick any three ingredients? Okay, Anything at all? Well, there's a couple rules. Number one, they have to all be organic or, or, okay. or, or all natural, no okay. chemicals. One has to be a protein, one has to be a vegetable. Any three ingredients. So well, we can do that. You don't like the food? The dish that I make, I take you to any restaurant you want. I don't care how expensive it is. Should yeah. I make reservations now or later? <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate the vote of confidence yet, but I, I would hold off on the reservations. <laughs> I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Let's go. All right, Come let's on. go. When you want to create any dish, it doesn't matter what ingredients you use, it's really important to understand the flavor profile of, of every single ingredient. Now, when you put two together, the cha things change, cooking changes, a lot of variables. That's what makes cooking so fascinating, is there's so many options that you have. And that's also the reason why you can have such a creative environment, it's almost like infinite. And, it, and it, the complexity goes on to multiple levels. You can have simple dishes, like remember back in the 60s, you had these three chord bands that became multi-millionaires overnight because they could play a little bit of music. You can also have symphonies with multiple instruments, and that's the same thing with food. Food can get as simple or as complicated as you need it to be. It really doesn't matter what ingredients you pick today. I will make a dish that's really good. And like I said, if I don't, we're going out to dinner tonight. Never let the fear of failure affect your creativity in the kitchen. A lot of people don't understand that. You're gonna come up with an, a dish that's terrible, but you learn, you have to understand why. It's incredibly important to know each ingredient and what each ingredient does in the form of flavor, in the form of texture, in the form of sweetness, saltiness, and what ingredients you can marry together. So I'm gonna choose three ingredients, one protein, one vegetable. That's it, and what was the other one? whatever you want, three ingredients. They're gonna, they all three have to be, it's like Costco chopped. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun, I'm sure it is. I'm gonna wait here, I don't wanna influence you, so pick whatever you want, okay. and uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right, I'll be, I, I'm not, I won't take that long. Him or not, whether you agree with him or not, I happen to think it's terrible what he... Can you love someone? You back? I'm not gonna look. I'm not looking. That sounds like more than three things. What'd you get? I'm not telling you. You're gonna tell me. You ever find it? No, you're gonna wait until we go home. I'm not gonna give you not even a minute to even think about it for now. All right. Do I have like a time frame on this thing? Like, do I have like a set time where? To cook, to come up with something and cook. No. You up? I don't know. You're being very strict about this. Don't peek. I think you're taking this a little too. No, literal. no, no, no. You can't see anything, right? No, no. Okay. All right, all right. Take. You can take them off. <laughs> yeah. all, all right. right. What do we got here? Let's take okay. a look. Oh, sardines. Hmm. Oh, kimchi. No preserve. Oh. No, it's all natural. No, it's good. It's good. I know it's good. I was hoping I, I it read wasn't. The you really want to go out to dinner tonight. Right. Riced cauliflower. Alrighty. Alright. Good luck. I'll see you later. Hi. I like 
to make a reservation for tonight? Ooh, she stumped me. All right, let's see what we got here. Try the kimchi first, because kimchi has a tendency of being all over the place flavor-wise. Let's see what this is like. So this kimchi is kind of garlicky, not too spicy, not too over-fermented. Got some nice flavor to it. This is gonna work. So surprisingly, <clears throat> these sardines aren't salty at all. They actually lack salt. I know what I'm gonna do with this. All right, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, you can open them. Wow, that looks really nice. <laughs> hmm. That looks really, really good. Excellent. I haven't even tried it yet, so. You haven't tried no, it? No, I haven't tasted it. I'm, I'll let can you we... taste it first, go ahead. Well, let's, you wanna try together? it together? Yeah, we'll why not? Okay, that looks really good. I'm impressed. It's really good. I'm talking with my mouth full. That's really, really good. It's like a little smoky. Yeah, I actually That's put excellent. a little smoke on this on the sardines and mm. I added some um, coconut aminos to the it's sardines. They actually weren't salty. Did you? No, I think it's really, and a, maybe a little lemon? I put lemon and um, it's, salt and pepper. I can't believe it. It's actually very good. <laughs> I told you. Uh, I didn't doubt you. <laughs> mm, yeah, not at all. Cancel the reservations. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Who would have thought kimchi and cauliflower rice would be such an amazing combination? And you're not limited to only sardines. You can make this with steak or chicken. And these are grass-fed and organic, both available from Costco, pre-cooked. Or you can use drumsticks. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. We'll see you again next week. Bye.